to inspect the engine compartment, we're first going to open the door, state that it's working properly and it's secure, not broken. Turn the light on. This is the oil pressure gauge and the engine temperature gauge. They're not cracked or broken and they are working properly. We come across to the coolant reservoir. The cap is present and secure. It's adequately filled and it's not leaking. The radiator, not cracked or broken, not leaking. The exhaust pipes are properly connected, not cracked or broken, and no leaks. Checking the coolant hoses, make sure they are properly connected. They're not cracked, broken, and there are no leaks. Electrical wires, properly connected, not melted or burning. The transmission dipstick and the oil dipstick are present and secure. They're not leaking and it's, the fluids are adequately filled. Open the engine bay door, working properly and secure to the bus. This is the alternator, charges the 12 and 24 volt batteries. It is secure to the bus. The water pump is secure, not leaking, and the air compressor is secure and not leaking. All three of these are belt driven. Check the belts to make sure there's no more than three quarters of an inch play and they're not frayed, cracked, or broken. The power steering unit is gear driven. Electrical wires, properly connected, not melted or burning. And you look underneath the bus to make sure there are no leaks from the engine compartment. To inspect the side engine bay, we're going to open the panel, make sure that it's secure to the bus and working properly. Electrical wires, not melted or burning. This is the power steering reservoir and the power steering dipstick. Make sure that it's, the cap is present and secure. It's adequately filled and there are no leaks. The oil spinner and the fuel filter. All three of these are secure to the bus. All the hoses are connected properly and there are no leaks. Electrical junction box, checking all the electrical wires for no melted or burning wires. Tanks and hoses are properly connected and secure. The diesel exhaust fluid tank, cap is present and secure. The tank is secure to the bus and it's not leaking. The air dryer is secure to the bus, no missing bolts. Hoses are properly connected and there are no leaks.